Hello, and today I'm going to show you how to use the light mixer in Octane. This will allow you to change all the lights in your scene without refreshing the render buffer, which can save you a whole bunch of time if you just want to try out a whole bunch of different looks. It's part of the AOV system that they introduced, so you'll need to be using a newer version of Octane. Um, I'll just speed through here of me actually just creating a scene. I was just creating a dummy perfume bottle, which seems to be the craze right now, um, on a concrete plinth um, with my own Pior logo. Loki, Dior, please don't sue me. So the first thing to do is to make sure that all the lights in your scene have their own unique light pass ID. So I'm gonna keep my main light on one, I'm gonna change my hair light to number two, and I'm gonna change my side light to number three. Once you've done that, you wanna open up the render settings and make sure that you're in Octane Render, go over to AOV Groups, and you'll see here a drop down with a load of bunch of different presets. You wanna click Light Mix Node and click Apply. As soon as you click Apply, you'll see all the different AOV passes in your renderer at the bottom here. Now once you've done that, you want to click on the node editor and I'll just drag this over to the side and you want to make sure you're on output one, which is the furthest one to the right. And then within the node editor, click on the light mixer. And if you just scroll down this light mixer bar on the side here, these are going to be all the sliders you'll be using to control your lights later. But first, we've just got to let it render. So I'm just going to speed through this whilst we wait for it to complete rendering and it should be done. Now, before we start having fun with these sliders, you want to make sure that you've selected output one or else this will not work. Learn from my mistakes. Now, if I start messing around with these things, so this one is the ambient light. So I actually have a HDRI in here and you'll see that doesn't make that much of a change, but this one will. You now have a better way of art directing all of your shots as well as being able to change all the different lights that you have in your scene without anything refreshing, which to me is wonderful because it means that I can spend less time on waiting for the renderer and more time just being able to plan and direct my shots. Now you can also change any of the colors of these lights. So I'm gonna change this to a yellow just to match the bottle. And then I'm gonna change my hair light to something like a blue, just so it catches a bit more of the reflections and you know, you can still change the intensity and I'll change this to say an orange just so it bounces off the concrete a little bit more. Um, but you can see here that you can change all of these settings without anything refreshing, which is super handy. Now, just a word of caution, if you are planning on changing a lot of the colors of your lights, I recommend you changing it from black body to texture emission when you select it in the main part of your light tag settings. This is because a black body emission also has a temperature slider, which is what you will use to change the white balance of your light. And this will fight with the color that you select in the light mixer. So if you plan on using lots of different types of colors, when you're building your scene, just make sure you set all of your lights to texture as opposed to black body emission. Now, an added benefit of doing it this way or setting up your AOVs with the light passes or these light tags means that if I save out a PSD and open Photoshop, all of your lights in your scene will come through as layers. So I have my HDRI, I have my light ID 1, 2 and 3 and any ambient light in the scene as well. So it's a really powerful way of you being able to art direct specifically all of your shots with all the different lights that you have in your scene. So just be mindful that when you are creating your scenes, you've got a maximum of eight different light IDs that you can use to group your lights together if you need to. Um, that's it for me. I hope that helps. And uh, let me know if you have any comments below and I'll be happy to help.